The U.S. Navy is currently embarking upon a number of ambitious shipbuilding programs to include a contract for as many as 10 new DDG-51 Flight 3 destroyers with advanced SPY-6 radar, upgraded Aegis combat systems able to perform air and cruise missile defense on one system. Aegis Combat System Advanced Software can connect fire control systems for ship defenses with a highly sensitive, long-range radar able to see threats one-half the size at twice the distances. The U.S. Navy is also accelerating construction of Virginia-class attack submarines and adding a new fleet of Constellation-class frigates. The U.S. Navy is also pivoting toward the future through conceptual work on new platforms such as DDG-X, a next-generation destroyer intended to sustain naval surface warfare through 2060. Much attention is perhaps correctly being placed upon the growing size of the Chinese Navy, as it not only exceeds the U.S. Navy in terms of size but also reportedly increasingly incorporates a wide sphere of advanced technologies as well. The increase in Chinese warships, the numbers of which now exceed the amount of U.S. Navy available surface war platforms, does not in and of itself suggest that the PLA Navy is in any way comparable in capability to the U.S. Navy. Long-range sensors and weapons, coupled with high-speed, AI-enabled computer processing connecting air, surface, land and even undersea domains, could potentially enable a smaller, yet more technologically capable force to prevail. Pure numbers, therefore, does not necessarily equate to maritime warfare superiority, as there are many variables to consider such as the scope and security of multi-domain networking technology. Certainly mass matters to quote the famous Sun Tzu, particularly when it comes to a need to blanket an area with incoming attack fire or spread an offensive across wide-spanning swaths of ocean, however it seems quite relevant to consider the tactical impact which effective, long-range, multi-domain networking could have as well. Should surface warships operate with a new generation of radar able to detect incoming threats at much greater ranges and share information through an aerial gateway platform extending reach beyond the horizon, then a larger force could potentially be seen and destroyed while the attacking force operated beyond line of sight at standoff ranges. Should fighter jets operating in forward locations be able to receive targeting specifics from drones, submarines or surveillance aircraft, the larger attacking formations could be vulnerable from the air. Stealthy attack submarines operating with a new generation of quieting technologies and long-range, precise sonar might be able to detect and destroy a large, approaching surface fleet of warships. The margin of difference in any major maritime warfare conflict, therefore, may reside in the quality of multi-domain networking, information assurance and the pure processing and transmission speeds necessary to massively truncate or shorten sensor-to-shooter time. Should a slightly smaller, yet effectively networked force be able to process and transmit data and target specifics faster than an enemy, it might be well positioned to prevail. This is likely a main reason why the Navy is working intensely on Project Overmatch, an effort to establish a series of interfaces and common standards sufficient to enable widespread, high-speed data sharing across multiple platforms and domains. The People's Liberation Army Navy is surging ahead quickly with new quasi-stealthy Type 055 destroyers, several new Type 075 amphibious assault ships and a third aircraft carrier to add to its fleet of two operational carriers. Much attention is paid to China's industrial base and the pace at which they are able to produce new platforms and build new ships, as it is something cited in a recent Pentagon report on China. Part of the complexity resides in the fact that China does not operate with any kind of distinction or divide between commercial and government enterprises but rather merges them. This can expedite modernization in certain respects and, when combined with the size of their shipyards and large labor force, China's shipbuilding machine is causing major concern among Pentagon leaders and members of Congress. Navy surges ahead building new high-tech DDG-51 Flight 3 destroyers. 
Flight 3 destroyers are engineered to ensure the U.S. Navy fleet stays in front of the competition as the world threat equation evolves and China continues to quickly build a new fleet of high-tech Type 055 semi-stealthy destroyers. Several years ago the Navy put as many as 10 DDG-51 Flight 3 destroyers on contract to help catapult the service into a new dimension of maritime attack capability, as the greatly upgraded ships have improved weapons, better computing and a much longer range, far more sensitive radar system, 